Colorado State men's basketball, yep. the student section, I believe, they're playing Utah State, and a kid from Utah State is from Ukraine. And the student se- section starts chanting, Russia, Russia. I am not for cancel culture. Y'all know that. Heckling is a huge part of, of sports. You make fun of people's height, weight, what they look like. This, though, to me, is over the line when we're talking about a war that is going on right now and people are dying. Children, women, families are dying. Uh, I felt like this was somewhat in poor taste. Let's go ahead and play the clip. Colorado State down six to Utah State. Utah State on the free throw line. Listen. Andre and Stevens back into the ball game. So 40 and 9, 10 seconds remaining here. As Schluga goes to the free throw line, 84% on the season. You hear the, the fans booing the student section yeah. now. You can hear him Shulga's booing. Schluga's made his only attempt tonight. Now he missed the free throw. He missed it. Word. All right. I, I, again, again, I am as competitive as any human being out there. All right. But to me, to me, there is a little bit of a line here when we're talking about that. I've got no problem if you want to make fun of somebody's weight, if you want to make fun of somebody's wife, their height. But this, to me, fellas, over the line or right on the line? What if they had just made fun of him for being from Ukraine and without any conflict with Russia or anything? Well, see, like to me, if there was no conflict with Russia, they would never say Russia. They would just be like, you know, you're from where Borat's from. Or that was Kazakhstan, but yes, I well, get what you know, I'm I get what take you're a left. Um, Blaine, your thoughts here. I mean, how bad do you want your team to win? You know, how big of a fan are you? What's the line on winning? Racial slurs? What's the, that's the line for sure. So does this qualify? Yeah, you can't do this, right? It it's, worked, but you can't. Do the first you, thought in my mind, if I went to this game, wouldn't have been like, man, let me make sure I yell out Russia at the kid from Ukraine. It, yeah. It's a low blow. You this is not even close to the Alice Ovechkin situation no. that we were talking no, no, about. No, no, no. However, Blaine did say he missed a free throw. He missed. Again, again, if your job was solely to make somebody miss a free throw, you accomplished your job, but you know, I, I kind of uh, f- fall back toward the fans that were there booing the student section. Yes. I think that, to me, speaks... I've never seen that before. I'll say the same thing I said to Blaine when he won the month of January. Mm-hmm. You won the month. You're a cheater. And, the Waterboy's and, a and, cheater. And, and you lost in life. You know? <laughs> That's what I'll say. Don't get me started. I don't want to go down this road again. <laughs> Hey, YouTube, if you're checking us out for the first time or if you've watched us a ton, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell button on and hit that like button if you like what you see. We're growing like a weed and we want to keep doing it. So if you enjoy this content, subscribe, share it with your friends so they can subscribe and keep checking us out as the sports season evolves because we know it never ends.